Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching the very first episode of The Ellenwood Legacy. Alright guys, so my name is Caitlin, also known as Perky Penguin, and today we are going to get started with my brand new Legacy Challenge and my first ever video on YouTube. It has been a long time in the works, and I have had lots of trial and error to get this going, but I'm hoping that this is going to be finally our winner, and I'm going to be able to put this out and share it with everyone. So, uh, to get us started, a Sims 4 Legacy Challenge, if you don't know what that is, is a set of self-imposed rules for The Sims. It was created by Pinstar and Mystic, and I will link that um, along with their website down below. Um, and rather than going over all the rules at once, I'll just kind of mention them briefly and touch on them as we go along. So here is my founder and matriarch, Serafina Ellingwood. So she has pretty good easy traits because we are going to get started with an extreme start. I will talk, show you that when we get out of Great Sim. But she has the freelance botanist aspiration. She's family oriented, loves the outdoors, and is outgoing. I will show you briefly what some of her outfits look like. Uh, she has a couple in each category, but I'll just show you one ah. each. And um, we will get into... Alright, there we go. Alright, let's go on and get right into playing. Alright, here we are at Hound's Head in Brindleton Bay. We are on the 64 by 64 lot, and it is winter time, as you can tell, and I have zero simoleons. So those are all things to start with an extreme start for the Legacy Challenge, and so that will get us an extra bonus point for the total points for the Let's Play. So you get one just for having your starting sim be a young adult, so obviously she is, because that's the requirement to get her started. So, uh, we have two points as of right now, and I'll keep you guys updated on the point system. Um, I have a score tracker and everything that I'm going to be going through, but for now, we are not going to hang around here because it is cold. I don't really want to wait for the welcome wagon, and she can't really fish or do anything in this area, so we will go ahead and travel somewhere where it's not snowing, like Oasis Spring. So you'll see that every single world, pretty much, in this save, I have actually gone ahead and put brand new lots from the gallery, all new sims. There are no EA sims except for Vlad and Father Winter, and even Vlad I gave a new house um, because I'm sick of all the EA sims. I've been playing with them for years and years and years and years, and I'm sure you guys are too. Um, and obviously you have them in your game, I thought it'd be fun to try something where we are meeting new sims and going to new places that we've never been before. So here we are at the park in Oasis Springs, and I have never been here before, so it looks great, actually. So um, most of these I got from the gallery, so none of them are my own creation. Um, it looks kind of just like a renovation of what the lot used to be, uh, and it even has a little wedding arch so that's nice so we are going to go ahead and we'll wait for things to spawn and see if we can meet some people as well as it doesn't look like we have a pond here so we can't really search for frogs but I can go ahead and start having her fish until we have some interesting people for her to introduce herself to oh let's check the weather it's not cold actually you can change your your outfit really quick so you don't overheat. So we'll go ahead and have her go fishing. Okay, we've got some people already spawning. Who are you? Khalil Stroud. All right, well, uh, you're an adult. I want a young adult. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to really want to be doing, other than getting a roof over our heads and getting as much money as possible so that she doesn't die, um, is finding our spouse. Um, so they can also start contributing to our household funds and getting their skills up and uh, as well as um, their career and all that good stuff. So I want someone who is a young adult and who has completely different traits than her. Um, 
I would say hi to him, but um, <laughs> that's a unique walk style. Um, I'm not here to judge, but I don't know <laughs> if he would go for us. I think, um, I actually, I think I remember from my one trial and error that he has one of the same traits as her. So with the uh, challenge, you get bonus points based on how many unique traits your your spouses over the generations, uh, the, ten, the generations being ten generations of the same family. Uh, each spouse that brings in unique traits, that'll contribute to our score. So I want to make sure every spouse is bringing in brand new traits so that we're getting the maximum benefit of those points. You are obviously really famous and will not talk to us, but that is a shame because you are really cute and you would probably make really cute babies. Hmm. Let's invite him to go fishing. Maybe she'll, like, get to... He'll talk to us. So, she's already having some success. That's her second fish she's caught. Things are starting to spawn. So, we'll see how fishing goes with him until someone more interesting comes along and then we'll start digging some things up. Alright. Any eligible men? Not yet. But lots of interesting sims that have generated... Um, I do have tons of sims. Like, I made sure to fill this world. Like, there are over 300 sims in this world, so we will not lack for uh, characters in this Let's Play. That is for sure. So I'm excited t to see how it progresses, and I hope you are too. All right. Oh, he's all the way up here fishing. <laughs> uh, I never go all the way back there, but um, unless I'm collecting. Looks like there's lots of things to collect. All right. Is he talked to? He hasn't talked to us yet. Go fishing with Julian. Let's try that. We're gonna go ahead and sell these. We're definitely gonna work on collecting things with this, so we can get points. Because another aspect of earning points in this is how many collections your family has completed. So I definitely want to do that, but for now, obviously, we are broke as a joke, so we're not going to be saving things, um, except for probably frogs. This is a teen, it's an elder. Have you started talking to him yet? It's not really working. Oh, hello. You're a police officer, and you're a young adult. Let's go say hello to you and let's start doing some collecting because this whole fishing with the celebrity thing isn't working. He doesn't want to talk to us. We're below him. Such a shame, too, because he is really cute. Really, really cute. <laughs> All right. Where is that sim that we were going to talk to? Did he go away already? Oh my gosh! <laughs> he already left! Oh, dang. Alright, well, you snooze, you lose, girl. Alright, let's dig that up. Uh, da, 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 da. We gotta get all the money! Alright. Let's see. Get those going. That. And we'll just kind of speed on through this, probably, as soon as I get this all queued up. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm keeping an eye out for interesting people. Ooh. Who are you? Jonas Miller. Not the most oh. original name, but you're cute. So he's a possibility. We can say hi to him once we're finished collecting. Who else we got? Who else we got? Anybody? You still fishing? <laughs> oh, and here's another one. Um, I think I actually recognize him as one of the ones that I downloaded that had a family, but we could try and say hi to him too. Um, a few of them I'll like recognize because um, of just like remembering like if they had a family or not, but. Most of the single sims I don't really remember. I just kind of put them all in, in households together. Um, 
And I didn't look at anybody's traits because you're not supposed to cherry pick uh, traits or anything like that for your sims. They have to get to know them on their own, and you won't know what their aspiration is, obviously, until they move in. Um, he is definitely married. I remember them because they were like a really wealthy family. Um, doo -doo -doo. All right, we are getting some good stuff, so we're going to speed up. I'm going to queue up a few more things for her to get. Go ahead and get that. Actually, no, it won't matter. We're just going to do that. Normally, I find that the dig for treasure thing is actually really helpful when you're collecting. Um, so we'll probably do that at another point, but right now I'm just going to sell it. Because we need the money. Yes. Okay, excellent. And I am not above having her rummage in the trash if necessary. Alright, I'm gonna look for some frogs. Dig that up. Okay, excellent. And um, leave a comment down below with how long you guys uh, have been playing The Sims. I personally have actually been playing since the original Sims first came out. Um, I'm 29 and the first Sims version came out and my neighbor actually got it. So I actually started playing it like a year after it was released when I finally got a copy. And I have not stopped playing since. Every new iteration of the sims I have had and have gotten. Obviously when I was a kid I didn't get like all the expansion packs and stuff for like The Sims 2 and so on. Um, but by The Sims 3 I was in college and I got like pretty much all the packs. And obviously now as an adult with Sims 4 as well um, I have everything. Literally everything. <laughs> because I'm obsessed! <laughs> and it is my game and I have to have it. So every time new content comes out, I have to get it. Um, I also don't like to miss out on opportunities for like gallery sims and things um, and lots um, just because I don't have content. So I always get that. And you will see too, I have custom content in the game. Like Seraphina is wearing a custom content shirt right now, for example, and her hair is custom content and her boots. Um, so we will have some custom content going, but I prefer Maxis Match, so um, hopefully you guys like that. Um, that's my preferred aesthetic for sure, because I, I want it to look like it goes with the game for sure. Um, all right. So I think we've pretty much gotten everything. We can go up and say hi to this guy and see how that goes. I really think he's probably married, but there's not really much of anybody else around. And it would be good to have a friend um, until somebody shows up, hopefully. Um, oh, hello? Well, you're really fit. We're gonna go say hi to you too. Um, <laughs> maybe no to the speedo, but you look great. Dude, you look great. All right, um, let's go here. Hurry up. And I'm not gonna teleport her or anything. Um, another part of the legacy challenge is that you are not supposed to cheat. So um, I am very strict with that because I find that fun in my gameplay. Like if you're gonna play with a set of self-imposed rules. I'm gonna follow it and the intention behind it. Ooh, alien. Um, pretty much to the letter. Um, if I'm kind of, if the areas are kind of murky, whatever the intention I think behind a rule is, I always try and stick to that. Like the getting to know the spouses and things. Like once I've decided on one and I've determined that his traits are all different, um, if he moves in and he's got an aspiration I don't want, um, that sucks. But you've got to keep it. Um, the other thing I won't do is switching back and forth between aspirations because I find that's way, 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 way too easy. So I stick to the old rule of not changing your aspiration at all um, <laughs> until it's completed and then we can find a new oh. one. Okay, are you single? I think you might be. Oh, so. Ask him about his career. <laughs> Clever, 
because he's, he's really cute. And he's really cute, too. Okay, he's unemployed. And I think he's single. Ask him if he's single. He's uncomfortable. But we can cheer him up. Oh, he's single. Oh, my God. We may have found our first guy. Oh, she, he did not like that joke. <laughs> he's... He's really uncomfortable, though, so that's understandable. Okay. Well, their relationship's going up pretty fast, so we'll see how things go. Um, did we learn one of his traits? Not yet. We need to know all of them. They have to all be different from hers. Okay, and I know she has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> we'll do that very shortly. We we'll also need to get some more money as quickly as possible because... We do not have enough to buy a tent yet at all. Um, close though. I think it's, I think it's like four fifty. No, it may be four thirty for a tent. So we may have exactly enough now, um, with a little left over. But we we'll definitely need to do some more collecting before we go home. But her energy is great. So if this is like our guy. That would be amazing. Um. Okay, he's erratic. Okay. Um, I mean, that's okay. I'm okay with it. I really am. Like, he's a little, he's a little crazy. But, um, he's cute. And he's interesting. And I love his name. Um, keep getting to know him. Oh, that's why he's uncomfortable. He's exhausted. Alright. This pool looks great. I love how they did this, too. All right. I'm decent at building, but most likely I'll be using gallery builds for us because I just prefer them and the amount of time and effort it takes me to... Yes, he's active. Okay, we need one more trait that's different from her, and we are golden. If the, if our very first sim is going to be him... Oh my god, I'm, I'm going to be so happy. Um, That'll be amazing. Yeah. So, okay, great. So they're friends, so we're doing well. We're just going to keep an eye on him and her, have her run to the bathroom really fast. Alright, he's an adult. Don't go anywhere, sir. Um, I'm just going to use MC Dresser really quick and change his outfit. Just so he doesn't get cold. And also, I kind of just wanted to see him in his outfit. Okay, he's cute. He's exhausted. He is erratic, but like I don't find that as bad trait. Oftentimes, erratic sims can be kind of fun, and we're gonna have bad traits at some point anyway. Um, I won't be upset if we get off to a good start and have someone immediately. The sooner we get someone, the better. Um, and I'm not too particular. <laughs> Once we have somebody locked down, I will be happy. Um, and there are aliens and vampires in this Let's Play, and I do like aliens. I'm very occult-friendly, so that's one thing. Um, if the, the heirs um, for our legacy, um, there, I'll go over a couple rules in a second. But basically, um, if there are cults, that's fine. I'm tolerant, so that's one of the rules. So um, they can be human, they can be... A, a witch, they can be alien. Um, if they're a vampire, um, I'm probably gonna have to make a determination at some point of like when their kids become eligible of like curing them of vampirism because I kind of want them to die. I don't want them to be around forever. Um, so she's making some food really quick while he's taking a nap and hopefully he'll be in a better mood and can talk to us. If he's not the guy, we'll still hang out, we still have energy. Um, you're really cute. Aww. Um, okay, awesome. And things are starting to fully grow. So that's great. So hopefully we're going to have some things that will be actually like harvestable soon. We won't be able to plant them, but we'll be able to save some things and have them ready. Oh, he's awake and he's coming for some of our hot dogs. Oh, <laughs> do you always walk around like that, buddy? <laughs> okay, let's do an impression. See if he's amused by us now. Discuss interests. 
Um, enthused about the outdoors. Express admiration. Alright, just get to know him. I need to know his third trait. There's lots of really good sims in this, and I could probably find one that's not erratic, but honestly makes for, for some interest, right? <laughs> and they're cute together. <laughs> oh, okay, they're... They're good friends now. She needs a third trait. Come on. Okay. Inside joke. Alright, well regardless, they're gonna ha have a great friendship. I don't want to go for a flirt. See if he's like romantic or something, but... I want to know his traits first. <laughs> Come on. Fun trip Nibso. Thepit mom. Zepet. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Dromus or a bay. All right. Any time now. Finoi cho. Karenzi. Oh, he's cool. He's smelly. It's okay. We'll probably be smelly at some point too. Shallow, mm. Still don't know your third trait, and we almost have like Matt relationship with him. This is ridiculous. Oh, it's cold out. <gasps> He's outgoing. Dang it. She's outgoing. All right. Well, all this time has been wasted. Who are you? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> well, hey, she has a really good friend now, and that's awesome. Um, and that's obviously why they got along so well. Oh my god, this guy is still over here fishing? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's stop talking to him. Let's finish this hot dog real fast. And then we can see about doing a little bit more collecting and fishing and hopefully meeting somebody else. Goodness. Well, we struck out, guys, but, you know, we'll find someone better, honestly, who's not erratic and wears a Speedo. <laughs> um, I mean, he looked good in the Speedo. I'll give him that. Um, that's still that teen. Oh, hello, Mr. Alien. What are you doing out here? He's a teen. And he is not wearing his disguise. <laughs> Who are you? You're an adult. Okay. Another cute sim. Alright, I think honestly we're probably going to go over and start fishing with that guy. It's starting to get late. And she's still doing okay on her energy levels. But we really need to get some more money before we go back home and go to sleep oh hello okay he's really cute vance sherwood oh my gosh yeah he's really cute okay let's meet him stop that he looks like he's going somewhere. This could be the one! Oh, here's another guy. Keanu. And he's wearing a tuxedo out here. It's great. Hurry! Come on, we gotta go meet these people! Hurry! Okay. Wonderful. What is that with the responsibility that's a game error? They're both young adults. Um, okay. Ask about Kimbalaya Meet him too while we're at it. Alright, I think he's single. 
Because normally if they have a spouse, it appears right there. Oh, we got... We got a naked sim. Okay, well, I couldn't find a, um... <laughs> a uh, way to delete her in MC Command Center. It's like not there anymore, so I just randomized an outfit choice for her really quick. Um, hopefully we don't see her again. It's really weird. Um, so I was really careful to try and make sure I downloaded sims that had things. So I don't know why she's naked. She didn't have custom content. Right, get to know this guy. Flesh? Hando. Oh. oh, yeah, see? So what I mean is, like, this guy here, his spouse appears right there immediately, which I love. So I don't even have to worry about him. I just want to get to know this guy. Okay. Alright, please tell me your traits faster than Zane did. Moosh Bepso. Parsagaprabe. Varanoi. Oh, he's cheerful. Uh, okay, that's a great oh. trait. <laughs> Mobsy. Pipitao Felinus. Balafoy Kamis. Oh. Alavine. We're pretty much just talking about that. Watch 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 Shilni! It's getting Bruna. dark. This guy is still over here fishing. <laughs> I mean, that's nice that he stayed there for us. Oh, he's creative. Okay, that is awesome because I would love a creative sim. That would be super helpful. Hello, Mr. Vampire. Just compliment his appearance. Not enough to get a romantic relationship with him, but maybe just enough to see if that's a trait of his. Ask about his day. <laughs> Brightness day. Gossip. Come on, I need to know your third trait, buddy. Yibs. Share photos. Inside Joe. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> We can do oh. it. He looks like really Mopsy. short right now because he's sit standing like on this terrain. Okay. <laughs> Here's a photo of my Not empty lot. <laughs> oh yeah, that's hilarious. You're so funny. You don't live on an empty lot. <laughs> Where do you know? <laughs> he's definitely digging us. Snibara Watanini. Um, I wanted to do another funny action. Ah, and he's squeamish. Okay, I will take it. Okay. So let's stop talking to everybody. Because I just want to talk to Vance. Oh, and she's cold, actually. Yep. Let's change her back in to her cold weather that she was wearing and we'll go ahead and change him too because i do not want him freezing all right excellent he he's stylish okay i love him he's ours vance sherwood you're probably coming home with us because i don't move slow in the sims flirt with him in this challenge, the sooner you get them helping you, the better. Like, the... so I do not move slow. There's time for like extended dating and taking time and stuff in, in other um, more realistic let's play. Like the rest of this is more realistic, but we need him as soon as possible. We gotta lock him down. Nibana, Harbin, Kabura. Oh. He's cute. He's all right. I'm really pleased. I am so pleased. Did their relationship just go down? He did. He not dig the. Oh, he dug it. Okay, cool. Okay, we're good. Yeah, Bold pickup line. 
Ubertay. Oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> Flirt. <laughs> and try first kiss. Luna. <laughs> oh, oh. So when we add him to the household, he can't bring any household funds. So um, if he does have any money, I have to cheat it down. Yay! Aw, your very first kiss. So precious. <laughs> Alright, hold hands. <laughs> She's already wanting to woo -woo. ask him to be your boyfriend. Get him locked down, girl. Offering a rose. Oh, hold on. I want to get a picture of this. This is cute. <laughs> They're such dorks. <laughs> Aw, they're so excited. Okay. Aw, here's this rose. That I totally don't have in my inventory. Okay, I want you to move in with me now. Ask to join household. No, you're not allowed to leave yet. No, Vance, I need you to come home with me. Okay, so, well... Maybe not tonight, then. <laughs> but I think we did well, considering. Um, this guy finally stopped fishing. Um, but we really need to. Um, because we need a little bit money. More money. Uh, more money. We need a little bit more money. I can't talk. <laughs> uh, before we go home. Um, and then we'll get a tent. And I think we'll wrap it up. Because I am really happy with how this has turned out. Um... It only took us two tries, really, um, and we got him. So, that's awesome. Fishing level two. Excellent. We didn't get another frog. We need another one so we can breed them. We'll probably be able to get one in our neighborhood. Okay, let's speed on through this. Oh my gosh, is it raining now, too? <laughs> not one thing, it's the other. And now it's warm. Like, the weather here, it just does not want to... <sighs> does not want to stick to anything. Well, she's getting her fun up, but her energy's getting real low. Okay, oh! <gasps> a cow plant berry! Excellent! I would normally save that because she needs it for her aspiration, but we need that money, honey. We need it. Okay. Excellent. Okay. I think that's enough. We'll be able to get um, a tent easily and a bush when we get home. And that's all we really need to get started. Honestly, we don't even need the bush because there's bathrooms not too far from her lot. So, oh, and here's a quick overview of the world. There's some awesome stuff here for us to come visit. So we'll definitely be doing that throughout this, I'm sure. Um, there's tons of stuff. Like, there's no way we'll see it all in her generation. Um, and this is Brindleton Bay, which we'll be seeing a lot. Um, you'll see this empty lot over here. My um, game plan is hopefully to buy this retail lot, which I specifically have the little not completed thing on so that it has the exclamation so I don't forget about it. <laughs> because I want her to open a flower shop because I haven't done that yet. Um, and I've done like other retail businesses, but not a flower shop. So I think that would be fun for her and something a little bit different than just making her be a gardener. Oh, and we need to have her join the gardener career, too. So, I did select to have uh, Vance come, and he did, because I knew it would be too late to invite him over. But, <laughs> if you just click on him, and he comes with us, ask him to join our household. Yes. Okay, and he's part of sev a several sim households, so he won't be bringing any funds to mess us up. So, he's perfect! <laughs> She's exhausted. Okay, and what's your aspiration? You're a joke star. Okay, I will take it. You're creative, squeamish, cheerful, and you want to be a joke star, so you'll be in the entertainer career. So that's great. Honestly, perfect. Match made in heaven. So let's go ahead and get a tent real quick. Pop that down. mailbox put that somewhere where we can actually find it Ooh, it's tent to tent oh I need acti activities mm -hmm. here is our tent and we still have 206 simoleons to spare 
Not quite enough for the shower. Um, I'm... Yeah, we'll get the bush. There's one, like, over here, but it's kind of far for them to run. I don't know if they really have to go. It's only 50 simoleons. Alright, and there's our home lot. It's beautiful! Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna have them both join careers. She needs to get to sleep. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, excellent. So she is just gonna be a gardener because it's simple. I can just have her work from home. And eventually I'll have her go into the floral designer option and then hopefully buy her own retail shop. So once we get enough funds for that. So that is excellent. And he is gonna join the inter... Oh, yes, purchase garden seeds. Okay, perfect. So that work from home assignment is actually perfect because we'll have the seeds, we'll be able to save them for when we can plant them. They're only like 35 simoleons and she'll get paid more than that. So we'll essentially gain money and we'll have something that we'll use anyway. But join a career. Do as I tell you to. Come on. Come on. Excellent. Okay. Entertainer. Alright! I'm so excited. Okay. And he'll probably get famous from this, too. So, he's hungry. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and quickly purchase those garden seeds. And then I swear I'll wrap it up shortly. <laughs> um, we're gonna do starter flowers. And I'm... It's going to be like impossible to see in the snow, so I'm going to put it right next to that mailbox. Okay, perfect. And I wonder if I... Okay, so she got money from that. Technically, we could sell those, but I'm just going to have her open it at some point. Oh, she's asleep. I'll have her open it when she wakes up. So I think I'll actually go ahead and wrap this part up right here now, guys. Um, thank you so, so, so much for watching my very first episode. I really appreciate it. Um, I really enjoy playing, and I know that we're going to have a lot more exciting episodes to come. Getting started is always a little slow, but it's also the challenging part of it, too. i got to make sure that these two don't die. So, definitely a successful episode, I would say. We've got a tent, we got a bush, and we got a man. <laughs> So I think we are doing okay so far, um, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much again for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye!